Often, people on the Kenshi Reddit will ask about a solo start, and I wanted to share my own strategy that I use, uh, and it has yet to fail me. It involves a minimal running around, we get pretty quick into the action, and best of all, there's zero mining. So generally we'll start as the default wanderer, and the first thing we want to do is make 10,000 cats, which will allow us to join the Shinobi Ninjas, and that's going to be pretty important for our start. Uh, due to that, we also want to train our lock picking from the Ninja Tower, and that's going to help if we are ever captured by cannibals, or if we're taken prisoner, or if we just want to open up some loot. And if we haven't gotten to any kind of fights yet, we obviously want to make use of the training dummy there to get at least a few levels in, which will be somewhat helpful. So the first thing is to get those 10,000 cats, and we're going to want a few extra for supplies, you know, food, we want a sleeping bag, and if we're lucky, we're going to get a little gear along the way. So the first place we're going to head to, and this is if we're near the hub or squin, are some old Shek ruins. And I'm going to show you where, there's, uh, where those are at. And if we're lucky, there will be some goodies there that we will want to grab. As you can see from Squin, the ruins are directly west, just across the little valley. And inside here, we should find some low-grade weapons, which, you know, not great, but better than no weapon. And there should be some uh, rusty chain shirts, which, again, not super great, but when you are basically naked, anything that is not naked is good. So uh, we will take a plank. And it's not very good, but it is a weapon. We'll take the fragment axe. Is that not in the backpack? Doesn't. Big sad. But that's okay. We are here for everything else that we can carry. not bad because with that we can make a tent which which is always cool and so there should be there we go rusty chain mail and a free ration pack so that's free food which we absolutely want chain mill to sell. So you can see it's high grade. It's not amazing and it definitely has some negative uh, combat skills but when it's that or a rag shirt that's uh, a bit of a no-brainer. Plus it will sell for a pretty good value so if we do want to pawn that off uh, we're actually going to be kind of doing okay in that regard. Planks themselves don't sell for a ton, but what we're going to do is head on over to Hitmeng. See if there's anything else. Uh, no, I'll pick up the tools, we'll sell those. That's money. Uh, more more rusty chainmail, excellent. Be glad to have it. And, eh. Uh, we'll pick up the fabric, why not? I suppose anything. Cell is is good. All right, all right, can't pick it up. Okay, oh, what is our big? I forgot how big. Find a way to add me. Gorillo. They are not very nice.
has a bit of a fuss. See right there, all the runes we want. And that's probably the big things and the blood spiders going at it. Or is that a gorilla? Well, it was a gorilla. He's having a bad day. Spiders. Some Garu. I don't know if they're going to come this way or not. As you can see, though, our stealth has gone up a fair bit. All those blood spiders over there. There are three. And that is, I mean, talk about some speedy leveling. Uh, there's the Garu they're fighting. No, a big thing. Excellent. Okay. Now, might be close to our chance. I don't know why you're unsneaky. There we go. So over in here, there are usually some katanas of some kind. Oh, let me stop sneaking again. That's probably why. Because we got, <laughs> got our ass whooped. Okay. Maybe not so fast next time. When our legs are busted. Oh, no! Okay, well. We have had better starts. But this is Kenji. So it is what it is. Oh, poor guy. Okay, so. We, we are not leaving here without loot. Our stealth is good, though. Look at that. Look at that stealth climb. That is... That's a thing of beauty. Well, if you're not careful, this guy is going to sneak his way right into your heart. Look at that we got. This nice katana, a skeleton repair kit. Skeleton repair kits like, go for like 4k. There. There we go. Okay. All right. Look at that repair kit again. Electrical components are not the worst. Um, they don't take a lot of space, but they're also not super. Super great for making cats, but we, we, st we still may pick them up anyway just to uh, get all we can. There's a power crop there, we're definitely going to snag that as well. And our stealth is still going up, not bad for a one legged shack. Almost no legged, but. Okay, and okay. We should still be have enough food that we can crawl our way to uh, I'm gonna go to one of the nearest Shuck village, not Shuck village, the Hyver village, and uh, get a new leg. It'll be a crappy leg, but you know, it's really what we're working with. But we're gonna use our tools to get in there, so that's why we uh, that's why we kept them. Got a power core right there, that's good. You can also go, these are uh, 
we're doing sort of just a standard start. If you're going to do any base building, you got building materials here. You've got the iron plates. You've got the books. Um, so it's really not a terrible uh, start for that either, just to come here and kind of give yourself a little little jump start to things. Uh, the books don't really sell for much, nor do these, again, the electrical components, but when we're in the get everything we can that's not nailed down phase, it's, uh, it's not a bad way. And take those as well. Steel bars are not bad for their, their size and price is pretty good. Um, get some more tools. Man, look at that stealth score. That is just so strong. This too. So you can see steel sells for, you know, we'll call it, we'll, we'll round up, call it 700. Uh, it's pretty good. No, don't don't crawl that way, you idiot. Crawl this way. See, usually if you wait, uh, the big thing that trolls around here will usually eat up all the blood spiders. So, if you don't want to lose a leg, uh, yeah, let him duke it out. And he's dying, so we're gonna ooh, we're gonna help him out real quick. Getting his hide and his, his meat. And as soon as we loot up here, we will scurry a safer distance away and cook up the meat just to ensure we don't starve to death as we go to get a new leg. Okay, so this is a, a weird thing. They can't be in your backpack. They have to be in your actual inventory to use the tools. Even though you can pull food and you know medical supplies from the backpack directly to use, the tools themselves have to be in the actual part of your inventory. Alrighty, and we're in. Ooh. There, we're gonna cut all the books. Uh, the old maps, actually, if you are taking everything that isn't nailed down, um, they're not terrible either. Uh, where's that old map? If I can, if I can find it in all this mess here. There's the old map, and you'll see it sells for 180. So, not not great, but. It's not nothing either. I think with any luck, there will be something nice, pretty decent starting in Sabres. So again, that's good for a solo start, or if you are trying to rock, you know, a group. And we'll crawl upstairs. Probably get some more books out of the the chests here. So again, if you are starting a sort of small party base building uh, getting these books early on is going to be very help, uh, you know, handy and helpful to you but uh, we just want it for the cats unless you plan to go from solo to a base builder then you, you, know, you may want to hold on to them but come on give us something decent uh, we'll take it is there anything else so, alrighty, now we need to crawl ourselves to a hyper village. I know there's going to be some up along the way. Let's just get out of here first. And I am, I will probably spare everyone the, uh, the footage of me crawling my ass all the way there. So, so as you can see, we are now in the swamp, and this is kind of where I really like to start my solo uh, adventure. As you can see, we are in Rot. You can see its location from the hub or Squin. It's not too far away. 
and if you are lucky, you'll not get eaten by too many things like I was. Now, the big reason we spent the 10,000 cats with the Shinobi Ninjas was not for training lock picking, even though it's nice. Um, it's not for getting the melee attack up to five, which we could do in a battle or two anyway. Um, those are just sort of nice perks. The bed, uh, I think it's an eight times heal multiplier that they have, just kind of like if you went to a bar. Uh, you know, those are nice to have, and they're kind of dotted around different cities as well. So it's kind of a, a quote unquote free place to sleep. That is not why we joined. Why we joined is so we can be allied with the Shinobi Thieves. Um, and what that means is they're going to act kind of like, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're going to defend us, they're going to protect us, they're going to, and more importantly, they're going to heal us. And so that's why we're in the swamp, because there is a wandering Shinobi assassin who dots between Rot, there's a swamp village over here, you've got Shark down here. You've got a couple other swamp villages darted all about, and that wandering assassin, um, I don't know really what they're doing, but they wander between all those different towns and shark. Um, they go into a town, and they just sort of bounce around between all the different houses, the huts. They don't do anything, um, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is that when they show up, we bodyguard them. And we're basically going to walk through the swamp with them uh, until we get super bored. And why that's nice is there are the swamp ninjas we're going to fight. There are the red sabers. You've got the blood spiders, the uh, swamp raptors, and any, anything like that um, that wandering assassin can solo. Which means we, we are effectively... Damn near immortal um, through this period. And what we want to do is get these stats here, our melee attack and defense, to about the mid 20s. And it's also our strength and toughness, um, dexterity as well as important. Um, we want to get those up decently high as well, at least into the 30s is, is quite nice, especially for toughness. If you look at 17, we still have quite the uh, the hit to our damage resistance and to our uh, to our KO. So getting that up um, on a check is not too bad. You get knocked out a few times, and all of a sudden your body's you know turned to steel. Um, other races, it's it's going to take uh, longer to do so. Uh, another you, and now you don't have to join the Shinobi group to get the benefit of hanging out here in Rot. Um, it's nice. Sometimes the Red Sabers will attack. Sometimes the Swamp Ninjas attack. You'll get the Swamp Raptors that like to wander by and they like to try to get to the crops here. So even if you just chilled and did nothing but hung out here and rot, you're still going to get the benefit of the guards here protecting um, by, the, by sort of by proxy protecting you against the attacking it's just like if you were at Squin or the Hub and you were bringing in bandits, they're going to act the very same way. Um, so, but you can see, I did buy us an iron hat because style is everything. I got us a new uh, backpack. It doesn't hold as much, but it looks a lot cooler. Um, you know, Kenji fashion is everything. Okay, so you can see we had a little scrap with some swamp raptors, and we've taken their skin. Doesn't sell for a ton, but it's actually not too shabby, and it's going to ensure that we always have food and medical supplies, which we don't really need to worry about because uh, there's going to be red savers. But uh, here we have found the wandering assassin of the shinobi, and we're going to bodyguard this fella. And uh, now we're big chilling. I'm just gonna speed that up a bit. It's, but, uh, this is the play. Uh, you're gonna be hobbling along on our crappy skeleton leg, all on our big basket headed homie. Right. Buy some red sabers and. 
with any luck, they will also be hostile to our friend here. And uh, he very well might help us. So uh, let's hope. Oh, you wiener. You get over in here. There you go. There it is. We said to encourage him a little bit. And now, do a little micro. There it is. Give it a baseball swing. Because we want to make sure we survive here. we can sell. So. Oh, there's even more. Okay. As expected. And hopefully our oh. guy here can take him out. Should be able to. Look at him go. He's crushing it. He's gotta be more show up. He's gonna die. Oh yeah, and see now he's giving us a bandage. He is not leaving us to die. This was a little truce going on, a little bandaging truce. He's taking care of himself now. So he'll probably wander off, but it should give us time to get up, get our backpack. Mistake, my friend. There it is. Boom. Mercenary armor. Not good, but look at all this potential money. So hopefully we can find a blue quality bit of the armor. Oh, took your pants. There we go. Much better. So we're just going to keep checking out. Getting tons of free medical. Obviously, the horse choppers aren't super great, but they sell. Well, they sell for more than the armor. And they take up less space. So I think we've looted. Just about everyone here. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Not bad. Okay, more of that, some of that. And one more healing. Cool. Alrighty. And that is uh, kind of how we gear up. You can see we got a. Uh, Couple more combat stats out of all that. We didn't die because our, our guy here healed us up. Uh, we're looking, we are looking pretty sweet with our iron hat and our free armor. Uh, we do need a non-garbage leg because that's definitely going to hold us back. But as this guy figures out where the hell he wants to go, we are going to limp along with him and. Uh, I mean, that's it. Uh, you do this until you're comfortable to leave. Like I said before, for me, uh, usually when these combat sets both get to the mid-20s, usually around 30, um, I definitely feel a lot more comfy. Same with my attributes here. Again, the higher the toughness, the better. We're looking pretty sweet already. Um, our strength isn't 
great. It's not, you know, it's getting there. As we have this armor on, we're carrying all this crap around. Uh, it's going to boost that pretty quickly. Uh, same with our, our weapons. Ideally, we want this to be in line with uh, our combat stats, but that will come with time. And, uh, yeah, this is this is the start. It's chill. It's safe-ish. Just about as safe as you, you're going to get uh, while being somewhat active. And, oh, there we go. Oh, this guy's in for a world to go. There it is. Decent armor actually between the armored rags and the rusty chainmail there. Our arms and our torso and chest are, are pretty well covered. Uh, obviously, this is not great, but we can also find the standard quality armored, armored skirt. We could buy us some, some fancy boots, a better hat, but that's you know, that's just standard Kenshi gear progression. And where you go from here is up to you. But hopefully this has shown a somewhat kind of safe, not mining, slightly exciting way to start off uh, solo.